Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over some of the new summer release features for Host. And I actually didn't want to do this while having the one and only Brian Chesky walk us through this video. And then I want to respond to each and every one of these features. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Brian. Last November, we announced 10 upgrades for hosts based on your feedback. Now since then, we've continued to listen to you. We've held workshops around the world. And we've had over 3,000 conversations with hosts. And through all these conversations, one thing is clear. There's a lot more we can do to make it easier to be a great host. So that's why today, we're making 25 upgrades to our Airbnb host app for our 2023 summer release. Now let's start with the part of the app that you use the most, the calendar. You told us that doing simple things takes too much time. For example, if you wanna select three weeks in May, you have to tap 21 times. That's right, you have to tap every single day. Now here's a new calendar. To select dates, just swipe across. To add a couple more weeks, just... This might sound like an oversimplified upgrade, but trust me guys, this was very annoying having to click and modify each day one by one. So whenever you wanted to modify, say, all of next week, because here's the thing, right? Hotels and short-term rentals are the same where everything is about supply and demand. So if next week is completely vacant for the next seven days, guess what? We are going to bring down our prices to motivate somebody who's willing to book in a short notice with a lesser price, right? Now, in the past, if you wanted to, like the way I price my Airbnbs is Fridays and Saturdays have their own pricing. And then Sunday through Thursday, I do it the same. Some people might do it different, but that's the way I do it. So I always had to like Friday, Saturday, change price. And then I had to go like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, change price. But sometimes I start bringing down the pricing on two weeks ahead and three weeks ahead. So it's almost like a tier, right? If you're booking four weeks out, you're going to pay top dollar. If you're, if you're booking three weeks out, I'm bringing my price down a little bit. If you're booking two weeks out, a little lower. And if it's one week out, my lowest. And so I always had to, again, do this manually. But let's say I wanted to make the next two weeks the same pricing or, or maybe the third and fourth week the same or the second and third. Now I could just slide down. So I love this feature. This is really exciting. It's going to make everything a lot smoother. And I am a little bit of a control freak. It's one thing I have not delegated is the pricing because that's where you make all of your dinero. So here we go. Just swipe down. We're also adding a new calendar view that lets you see your bookings and availability for an entire year. If you want to change your price for June, just tap June and edit your nightly price. And that's it. That's awesome. Again, being able to just click on the month and adjust the pricing for the entire month. Man, this is going to save a lot of time. Now, speaking of pricing, you told us that pricing tools are hard to use. To make it easier, we're bringing them all together in the calendar. Now, you can view all pricing features in one convenient place. To make a change, just tap on the price. We'll show you a breakdown of what guests are paying and... This is awesome. Now you can see exactly what they're going to pay, all the fees, what we earn. Um, pretty cool. Now you've also told us that it's hard to know what to charge. And it's helpful to see what other hosts are charging. That's true. When you are modifying your pricing, you don't want to be over, like way, way more expensive than everybody else. And you also don't want to be way cheaper. You might want to be slightly cheaper, but you don't want to be way cheaper because you're going to be leaving money on the table. So previously, you had to like go and manually check other people's calendars. So this is awesome because now it looks like with the click of one or two buttons, we'll be able to see what other people are charging as well. And we'll be able to see which listings are booked and at what price they got booked versus which ones are still not booked and at what pricing they, those are. So that's awesome. You can view average prices for similar listings in your area that are getting booked. You can even view listings that are not getting booked and see what their prices are too. We've also made it easier to set weekly and monthly discounts. This is really important for attracting guests who are looking for longer stays. Yes. Airbnb shared uh, a few months ago that over the last 12 months, people are staying 28% longer than in the previous years. And this is why 
Midterm rentals have also skyrocketed, right? Bookings of 30 day plus, government bookings, corporate bookings, relocation companies like insurances, traveling nurses. So yes, I'm a big fan of doing, you know, 10, 15% off of the 30 day plus days, even though it's a little bit less than if I just get it booked like under 30 days, right? But it's still gonna be way more and it's actually less turnover and less work on my team. So this is really, really cool um, that you can just see, like obviously we can do these discounts before the weekly and the monthly, but now it's all in one place. By the way, if you guys haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so because every subscriber is greatly appreciated for being here and supporting my content. So yeah, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We'll recommend a discount based on demand in your area. Now you can change it any time. Okay, that is new. So they're gonna recommend a price for these weekly, monthly discounts based on what other people are doing. So it says tip to attract monthly stays, try 30%. Right, so that's pretty cool. And when you do, you'll see the price update instantly. Next is checkout. We know that you wanna make the process easier for you and your guests. So we're introducing an all new set of checkout features. In the listing tab, you'll see a new section called checkout instructions. And you'll see a list of the most common checkout tasks. I love this, I love this. You can add more details for each of these, like leave the key in the lockbox. It's important to keep your instructions simple and reasonable. Before guests leave your home, they'll be able to see a list of your checkout instructions. They can tap to indicate they're done. This is amazing guys because Typically our check-ins are at 10 a.m. and the check, I'm sorry, check-outs are at 10 a.m. and check-ins are at 3 or 4 p.m., mostly 4 p.m. because we have multiple properties in the same cities and the same cleaning staff sometimes is cleaning two, three properties in the same day. And if we know that someone checked out early like they, and usually we would, we would manually ask people like, hey, what time are you checking out? And then based on that, then we know, hey, let's clean this one first, this one second, this one third. But now, let's say someone checks out earlier than they were supposed to because for whatever reason, maybe they're gonna go get a bite to eat before they go to the airport. Well, now we'll, we will get a notification saying, hey, your guest just checked out. And then boom, the team will get notified and they can head over there ASAP. So that, that's pretty cool. Communicating with guests is one of the most important parts of hosting. That's why we're adding new messaging features. First, you'll see new quick replies. Any host can send a quick reply that links to your checkout instructions. We know it's really helpful to know when a guest reads your message. So now we're adding read receipts. There are nearly three quarters of a million co-hosts on Airbnb. You've told us that managing them in the app can be difficult. That's why we're introducing an all new set of tools to make it easier. This new tab lets you see all your co-hosts in one place. If you want to invite a new co-host, simply tap the invite button, enter your contact info, and set their permissions. You can give them full access, only calendar and inbox access. Wow, this is great. One of the challenges before is usually we give cleaners, and now there's other apps out there that you can give access to your cleaners, but I've been hosting since 2017. And one of the challenges when giving co-hosting access to your cleaners is that they can see all the numbers. And in the past, what I would do is I would charge an additional $25 per cleaning just to help cover my replenishables. And sometimes I would charge 50 and I would make a little extra money on the cleaning fee. But what would happen is my cleaners would be like, hey, Jorge, you're paying me 175, but you're charging 225, like what's going on? So this is cool because it will limit the access of what your cleaners or co-hosts can see. So this is really cool. Or you can limit their access to just the calendar. This is perfect for cleaners who need to know when guests arrive and leave. You can also share payouts to your co-hosts right in the app. So they'll get paid directly through Airbnb. That's beautiful. Again, that was something that you used to be able to do and then they took it away and now they brought it back, but even better. And every time you get a reservation, you'll see exactly how much you make and how much your co-host will earn. As part of our 2023 summer release, we are introducing Airbnb Rooms. This is an all new take on the original private room. Starting today, every Airbnb room will include a host passport. It highlights helpful information so guests get to know you before they book. 
Now to fill out a passport, go to your profile page and enter more details about yourself. We're also allowing you to share more details about the room your guests will stay in, like whether the guest's bathroom is private or shared, and who else will be in your home. Finally, I want to end with one of your biggest requests. You've asked for an easy way to provide feedback on a feature before it ships. Real quick, on the rooms, this is, this is beautiful. It makes my heart melt, but here's why. You know, there's a lot of big operators, right, that have 10, 20, 30, 50, 100, hundreds of Airbnbs, whether they're purchases, subleases, or on the management side. And a lot of people make a lot of money with Airbnb. What's really cool about this room sharing room thing is that it really caters to the small operator. Think of how many people out there, um, the only reason they're able to pay their mortgage is because they're renting a room or two on Airbnb in the home that they live in. And these hosts, most of the time, don't have multiple properties. They're not like these you know big real estate investors you know like myself and many other people they're very small operators and they're just doing it to be able to cover their mortgage and maybe be able to make a little extra money especially with high interest rates and those who have high mortgages so i really like this feature because it's catering to the small operator who really is just getting by so yeah beautiful by the way guys if you haven't yet liked this video please like this video and also I do offer courses and coaching on starting a six-figure Airbnb business with and without owning real estate. I personally own almost $10 million worth of real estate, actually over $10 million worth of real estate. And I also make multiple six figures from subleasing and co-hosting alone. So if you want to generate results like I have in thousands of my students, um, click on the links in the description and check out some of my trainings enroll, you can start using new features before they ship and give us feedback right in the app. So that's it. Those are the 25 upgrades for hosts in our Airbnb 2023 summer release. I think you'll love using these new features and I can't wait to get your feedback. That was awesome, guys. Hey, thank you so much. Let me know what was your favorite feature. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.